Hey guys, PC Max Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Spotify on Ubuntu. So what you want to do is open up a terminal, and you can also go to the software center if you want. I just like doing things from the terminal because it's faster. You want to type in sudo apt-get install wine1.3, wine enter your password, hit Y, and now it will start installing. Okay, and it seems like this is going to take a while, so I'll just skip ahead. Okay, and now it's finally done. So now we can type sudo apt get install wine. And don't worry, this won't take nearly as long as the last one. <coughs> okay, see, so already done. And now we can't actually get Spotify from the terminal, so we're going to have to open up Firefox. just wait for that to open okay here we go let's maximize the window now we go to www.spotify uh, I believe it's dot com pretty sure it's dot com yeah here we go okay now we click on get Spotify for free and now it's going to say uh, download for other platforms or sorry we only support Windows and Mac don't even click this they've like here I'll go ahead and click it and show you like they've updated their website to where it just takes you to support and if you try to type in anything like Linux it says no results have been found so just ignore that go to download Windows and then you want to save this uh, to your downloads Okay, that's already done, so let's close out of Firefox and let's go to the home folder and downloads. Okay, now you want to right click on this and click open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Okay, now it's going to bring up this and uh, it's just configuring stuff. And now it's actually, we're in the Spotify installer right now. Okay, so it's installing. Okay, and as you can see, uh, a couple of things have popped up on our desktop. And here's the Spotify window. We have Spotify LNK and then actual Spotify. You can delete the LNK, that's not important because that's what Windows uses for desktop icons. But Linux uses dot desktop. So we can just delete the LNK and now we can sign in. I'll close out of the downloads window. Okay, now a lot of times what happens to me is I'll get choppy audio and it cuts out all the time. But, um, usually a restart after installing fixes this for me. But, we'll go ahead and see how it does. Uh, right now it's loading my playlist. I'll wait for it to get done loading. Uh, so that way I don't get choppy audio. So, it's still loading stuff over here. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, now we'll go to my playlist, and let's try to play... Yep, okay, that works. Let's play in Smooth Criminal by Alien Ant Farm. Anyways, uh, that's how you install uh, Spotify on the Linux distro. And um, it should work on, honestly, any one. I've only tried it on Linux Mint and Ubuntu. But it should work on any Debian-based distro. you just have to try it for yourself. But, um... Yeah, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, tell me what you thought of the video, and like it.